This week's episode is sponsored by Patreon supporter Jared Blankenship. Jared asked for the basics on Tarn, leader of the Decepticon Justice Division. But that would have been a pretty short episode, so today we're going to look at the whole team. The Decepticon Justice Division, or DJD, was created by writer James Roberts and artist Alex Milne for the IDW publishing comic book More Than Meets the Eye. They're a team of sadistic murderers whose job it is to root out and kill traitors and transgressors among the Decepticon ranks, with several of the group even having torture devices either for alternate modes or built into their bodies for this purpose. The DJD consists of five members who use as code names the names of the first five Cybertronian cities that fell to the Decepticons during the war. If a member dies, their replacement takes up their code name. The team have a personal spacecraft named the Peaceful Tyranny and are based on the planet Mesatine, home to a mutated strain of the superfuel Nucleon, which they use to boost their strength to obscene levels. The team's lineup consists of Helex, real name Crucible. He imprisons Transformers inside his huge body and melts them alive with his built-in smelting pool. His signature move is to remove the brains of his victims and place them in their mouths. Tessarus, real name Scissorsaw. Sullen, capricious, and easily bored, he's equipped with whirling grinder blades in his torso, into which he slowly lowers his victims, feet first. Kaon, real name Amp. The empty-eyed Kaon transforms into an electric chair and can fire bolts of electricity. He handles communications and maintains the DJD's infamous list of targets. Voss, real name Forstock. A scientist who transforms into a sniper rifle, Voss speaks almost entirely in ancient Cybertronian. His favorite torture technique is to remove his own faceplate, the inside of which is lined with spikes, and drive it into the faces of his victims. The former holder of the Voss codename was Dominus Ambus, an undercover Autobot who had infiltrated the DJD. When his true identity was discovered by his teammates, they lobotomized him, locking him into his Turbo Fox Beast mode and keeping him as a pet, who Kaon grew surprisingly fond of. The team's leader is Tarn, the only member known to have been part of the group since it was founded. Red Herring sprinkled throughout the story hinted that under his Decepticon insignia mask, Tarn might have been Optimus Prime's old friend Roller, but in truth, he was really another comrade of the pair's named Damus. He was born with the power to shut down non-living machines with a touch, which earned him the nickname Glitch. But over time, this ability grew and evolved until he could deactivate Transformers with his voice alone. Glitch was turned to the Decepticon side by Megatron specifically as a way of hurting Optimus by corrupting someone close to him. Becoming an obsessively devoted follower of Megatron's, he was rebuilt with a tank alternate mode armed with a double version of Megatron's famous fusion cannon. Tarn's mask hides facial injuries sustained in a battle with Grimlock. He conceals his monstrous nature behind a soft-spoken air of culture and sophistication. He collects the writings of Megatron and knows them all by heart, and he loves classical music, most famously a piece titled The Empyrean Suite, which he played to hide the screams of prisoners he executed while serving as warden at Grindcore Prison. He runs his team like a bureaucrat with paperwork and performance reviews, but he has an obsessive, addictive personality, and he's even hooked on the act of transforming itself. He regularly burns out his transforming cog and has to harvest replacements from his victims. The team would later be joined by the minicon Nickel, last survivor of the colony world of Prion, which was raised by the organic alien militia, the Black Block Consortia. Eager for revenge against organic life, she found the Decepticon Manifesto appealing and joined up with the DJD as their medic and maintenance engineer. The Decepticon Justice Division debuted in 2012 in a story that followed the group as they hunted down a deserter named Fulcrum and battled him and the group of misfit Decepticon scavengers he'd hooked up with. Fortunately for the heinously outmatched scavengers, the DJD pulled out of the fight to pursue a much higher priority target, 
Overlord. The group's pursuit of Overlord led them to an encounter with the crew of the starship Lost Light, and the startling discovery that Megatron himself had abandoned the Decepticon cause and joined the Lost Light crew as an Autobot. His faith shaken by his idol's change of heart, Tarn almost committed suicide, only to instead conclude that the Decepticon cause was bigger and more important than Megatron himself. Declaring Megatron the DJD's next target, Tarn recruited the aid of Decepticon General Deathsaurus and his troops, and proceeded to lure the crew of the Lost Light into a confrontation. Megatron attempted to surrender in exchange for the DJD sparing his crewmates. The disgusted Tarn refused, and vowed that he would never let such compassion influence his actions, demonstrating his new, even more vicious resolve by personally killing Kaon as punishment for the affection he had developed for the team's lobotomized pet. Realizing that Tarn had been consumed by his obsession with Megatron, Nickel and Death Saurus abandoned him. Left to face Megatron alone, the remaining four DJD members proved helpless before his antimatter powers, as he killed them one by one, ensuring that Tarn died knowing that his life's obsession had meant nothing in the end. That was the definitive end of the DJD, though Nickel would later fall in with their old targets the Scavengers and join them in helping the Lost Light crew save the universe. The DJD's appearances in Transformers media outside of IDW's comics have been mostly limited to tiny mentions and cameos, like those seen in the Creo Building Block manga. However, they were showcased in the Transformers Legends mobile game in 2015, and most recently in 2018, a fully licensed, highly poseable, non-transforming action figure of Tarn was released by Flame Toys. The DJD are decidedly not kid-friendly characters, so them showing up in future Transformers cartoons or toy lines seems unlikely without some serious toning down, but in the world of the Transformers, stranger things have happened. And those are the basics on the Decepticon Justice Division. Thanks to Jared for sponsoring this episode. Tell me which member of the team you'd most like to see get a toy down in the comments. Hit those like and subscribe buttons while you're down there, and if you're in a position to, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon.